in my situation, I'd love to get your thoughts and your advice. And then this is sort of my thoughts and my game plan. So I've sort of gone in Discord groups, look for things with strong community. And I found that stuff like Jungle Freaks, really strong Discord community. Uh, Mutant Cats, strong community. So I bought like four Jungle Freaks at 0.7 each, bought Mutant Cats around 1.1 ETH each. Now they're both up, but now I have no more ETH. Like if I want to get ETH, I'm going to have to cash up Fiat, buy some Ethereum, but that's not ideal. So I'm going to try sell one or two of each to get more liquidity so I could then buy more of other projects. Like I'm in this place where it's like, I can't grow. What's yeah. your highest 12? I mean, yeah, that, that's kind of um, one of those kind of annoying things. So you got to think of... Um, or do I just hold them forever and wait well, six you, months? You got to think of like, what is your long-term horizon? What's your short-term horizon? If you want, you know, if you see yourself, you know, really being ingrained in this jungle freak community, then yeah, I mean, you should sell one of them to buy more jungle freaks. But if, you know, you're thinking like, okay, you know, holding these, like, I think they're long-term, but you know, there's going to be a period of stagnation. You might, yeah, you might want to sell a few because holding a lot of it's going to be an opportunity cost for you while you can go and you can search for other projects. Now, um, how do I know? that's kind of the biggest issues with NFTs is they kind of um, act as an opportunity cost but that should probably be fixed in the next few weeks um, with all of the NFT lending protocols on the way. Uh, there is, I don't know if you've been watching like Lisbon and Paris, but like November, December, it, it seems we're going to get like hit with a lot of stuff. That's going to yeah. make, you know, it's going to make um, accessing like a line of credit when you hold uh, these NFTs, which then should solve your solution. Wow. What I was going to ask, but maybe you answered the question was, how do I know when to sell? You know, my jungle freaks, they're up, you know, 100, 120%. The mutant cats, they're up like 50, 60%. How do I know when to sell? Now, I guess I can either just hold all four of each and wait out till the NFT bull run hits again but then I have a huge opportunity cost loss over the next one or two months while waiting for that. Yeah. What would your yeah, advice I mean, be? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know the answer to that one. I, I think that is just a, you know, per situation. I think everyone, you know, if you can solve, you know, what's the formula to that, like, please tell me. And I, I think there maybe are traders who know that, but I've never got that. I've just, when, when, when I sometimes come to there, sometimes I'm like, okay, do I sell it? Do, do it. And then what happens is I spend so long, like, uh, figuring out what to do with it, that, um, it, do, it does it for me. Like either the price skyrockets or the price, you know, drops, you know, a lot. And I'm like, oh, okay, well th that's what I was supposed to do. So sometimes I don't know, maybe just hold out and see, see what's in store for you. I have no clue.